Okay, this is a Philips tube stereo table radio, and I don't have the cabinet. Um, I'm repairing this for somebody. Several other people have attempted to repair it, including a school. And uh, it's made in Holland. And there's absolutely no documentation available that I can find for it. Um, I spent some time on it before and I couldn't get anything. It was totally dead. So what I did is I went through and tested all the tubes and verified their location and two of them were reversed. These two here were flipped. So I've straightened that out. And this must be the stereo demodulator, this box right here. This box must be the stereo demodulator. So back on the Philips here, you can hear how distorted it is. And the other day when I was playing with it, I noticed that it was really powerless. So this morning I started checking the grid voltages. Um, and I got one tube here that the grid voltage is just, it's all over the place and I pretty much got it, you can hear this if I pull one of these tubes out. The kids heads off and throw them off roofs and it's on the foreign news, I mean this is what our government's doing. And Mitt Romney's like, Obama's not doing enough, get in there and overthrow Assad. So when we get back, Turkey warns Syria it may use greater force. Uh, U.S. military is sent to Jordan to help with crisis in Syria. The crisis they created. Unbelievable. We're on the march. So the you, can, on the you can hear, and I'm checking, and I believe it's this capacitor right here. This right here, and it's brown, black, orange. Because one side of it is connected to the 12AX7, the plate of the 12AX7, and then it comes here through this 100K resistor, and then from there it drops straight down to the, uh, where is that resistor? It's hard to see. There's a 1K right here. It drops down through this 1K to the uh, grid. If we check on this side of it, we're getting 18, 15 to 18 volts. And if we check on the capacitor side of it, it's a little bit higher. So I'm pretty sure it's this capacitor right here is leaking. So I'm going to... And it seems to get... As, as it cools down, it seems to get better. So I'm going to... I'm going to... Um, clip that sucker out of the circuit and check it. Just clip one lead. So I cut one lead out and I'm measuring it and you can see it's definitely leaking. Just measuring the DC voltage coming out of it. So I'm gonna try my new toy here out, my new capacitor inductor resistor tester and just just see how the capacitor checks with this. Well, the capacitor is a. Uh, uh, let's see, where is it here? It's a brown, black, orange, so it's a 0.01 or 10,000 picofarads, and it's reading about 7,500 to 8,000. And let's do a leakage test on it. So what we do, put the voltage to zero, put this to charge, and then DC volts. Look at the leakage. Look at the eye. This is five milliamps of leakage, full scale. In this world, everything going digital. When they say I got jacked, when print dies, I go into print. 
and that's why we have the new glossy. Now there are a few, uh, a few thousand So that thing is that capacitor is definitely leaky and shorted. Well, I changed that capacitor and it seems to be working well now. It sh doesn't have a lot of power. Um, this goes in a wood cabinet and there's a speaker basically on this side and a speaker over here on this side. Um, the case is at the shop. I didn't bring it home because I didn't want to scratch it. But it doesn't seem to... Let me get off this before I get... Oh, that... You can see it doesn't have a whole bunch of power, but the tuner tuner's kind of sensitive, works pretty well. And one cool thing about this is the the FM that is down here at the the bottom, and the AM and short waves are up here at the top. And there's clutches, so when you go from FM to broadcast, I don't know if you can see them here, but there's these different clutches that move and engage the different tuning gangs, so you can go from, let me see, you can be on FM, right? You, you only adjust the one at the bottom, see it moving? And then if you go to, uh, what is that? That's true. Do you go to broadcast? It was a video that caused the outbreak. So you need to find a plumber to replace your water heater. The question is. And then you have long wave, short wave, which it seems to be working. I think it just needs an antenna. Really need a uh, really need a long wire for the short wave, but it's definitely awake and alive. Got the cool little civil defense markings. So it's pretty much fixed, and there were two problems. Um, these two tubes right here and right here had been switched around and this capacitor was bad, leaky. Bet your life on eFoods Direct. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do, and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe. Our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to write. I don't want you to write to your congressman, because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. My life has I want you to get up now. I want all of you to get up out of your... If you're having trouble eating right when money's tight, check out CalFresh. Okay, the table is set. And dinner is ready. Let's eat. But first, go... Tell Mom! <laughs> Mom, dinner is ready. If you 
or someone you know has low income, call 1-877-847-3663 for information about CalFresh in your area. That's 1-877-847-3663. 1-877-847-3663. CalFresh. Better food for better living. A message from the California Department of Social Services and the California Department of Public Health. Funded by USDA SNAP. Look, if you think about it, the holidays will be here soon.